Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss some simplification questions which are common for all exams. So the basic rule we use for simplification is v board mass rule. So this indicates the order in which we should simplify the question. That is v means vincular or bar. B means bracket. O means of or order of means it's uh, multiplication itself and order means the power that is square root and all then d means division m means multiplication a means addition and s means subtraction so this is the order in which we should simplify a question <clears throat> let's look into an example so first question is minus 4.6 into minus 4.6 divided by bracket minus 4.6 plus 0 0.6 so here according to this uh, rule we should uh, solve the bracket first so here we have a bracket here and inside it is minus 4.6 plus 0 0.6 so minus 4.6 into minus 4.6 divided by minus 4.6 plus 0.6 is minus 4. Next we have a multiplication and a division here. So according to this rule the first we should solve the division part. So minus 4.6 divided by minus 4. So minus 4.6 into minus 4.6 divided by minus 4. Now we can solve this easily. So negative divided by negative will get cancelled 4.6 is 2.3 and 4 is 2 and again we can cancel 2 here and 2.3 and we have a negative here so the answer is minus 5 2 9 and we have two decimal points here one here and one here so 5.2 so answer is minus 5.29 so we should um, solve every simplification questions in the in the same order only actually these questions are um, you can easily score marks for these questions if you have if you are much careful about solving these questions next question is 9 by 13 divided by 18 by 26 divided by 90 by 52 so here a by b divided by c by d that is division of fraction a by b divided by c by d means a by b into d by c that is first fraction divided by second fraction means first fraction multiplied by the reciprocal of the second fraction so how can we solve the same thing here 9 by 13 into the reciprocal is 26 by 18. Again, the reciprocal of the next number is 52 by 19. So, this is the way you solve the division of fractions. So, you can cancel here 13 into 2, 9 into 2, and the answer here 26. Here 45. So the answer is 26 by 45. So division by fraction is also very important for simplification questions. Now we can uh, look some questions uh, which are previous questions of various exams like railway exams, SSC exams and all. So these are the some of the previous questions. We can look into those uh, simplification questions. First question is 18 divided by 2 of 1 by 4 and this is in a bracket into another bracket 2 by 3 divided by 3 by 4 into 5 by 8. This is inside a bracket divided by next bracket 2 by 3 divided by 3 by 4 of 3 by 4. So according to our rule we need to solve each brackets individually first. So this is the first bracket and inside this bracket we have an off function of and a divide so among these 
we will solve the of operator first then only divide so 18 divided by of means it's multiplication so 2 into 1 by 4 is what well, this is what we need to solve first in this bracket and here in this bracket we have a division and a multiplication and this is a division by a fraction so 2 by 3 division will change to multiplication and we need to reciprocate this that is 4 by 3 so this operation we need to do first and then multiply it by 5 by 8 divided by next bracket we have an off operator and a division so here also we need to do the of operator first 2 by 3 divided by 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 so here 2 into 1 by 4 is that we need to do first so 18 divided by 2 into 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 into 4 by 3 into 5 by 8 we can do this Mm, this 8 by 9 into 5 by 8 18 divided by 1 by 2 then we have 2 by 3 divided by 3 into 3 is 9 we need to do the off operator first so 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 so 9 by 16 so we can change this as 2 by 3 into reciprocate this that is 16 by 9 next 18 divided by 1 by 2 we can change into 18 into 2 by 1 into we can cancel this 8 and 8 and this will be 5 by 9 divided by uh, multiplying this it will be 32 by 27 then next 18 into 2 is 36 36 into 5 by 9 divided by 32 by 27 now again we have a multiplication and a division here so we need to do the division first so 36 into 5 by 9 into reciprocal of this is 27 by 32 now we can cancel 9 into 3 is 27, 4 into 9 is 36, 4 into 8 is 32. So 45 into 3 divided by 8, that is 135 by 8. You can also convert this into mixed fraction, um, 16, 7 by 8. So I think you know how to convert mixed fraction into sorry improper fraction to mixed fraction you will divide 135 by 8 8 ones are 8 um, 5 8 6 are 48 the remainder is 7 so the quotient will become the whole number here that is 16 and the remainder will be the numerator and the denominator will remain the same this is how you uh, convert a mixed fraction uh, sorry improper fraction to a mixed fraction so sometimes in question uh, you will not have uh, sorry in options you will not have this number they may give um, the it in the form of a mixed fraction so you will need to convert it into a mixed fraction so this is this was a previous question we can look into another previous question that is minus 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2 divided by 6 into 1 by 2 so here we have a addition a division and a multiplication so here we will first do the division part that is minus 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2 into 1 by 6 into 1 by 2. So here 3 and 6 will cancel. So minus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2. 
so that will become minus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 8. Now you can do the addition. So when adding two fractions, you will need to find the LCM. So by looking at itself, uh, we can see that the LCM will be 8. So 2 into 4 is 8. So minus 5 into 4 is 20. And here 1 into 1 divided by LCM is 8. So minus 20 plus 1 divided by 8. This is equal to minus 19 by 8 is the answer. Now we can look into the next question. Uh, this is also a previous question. It's, uh, it's a very big, uh, big question but it contains only simple operations. You can easily score marks on this question if you are careful about uh, solving this in the V board mass order and also be careful about the numbers and the operations you should not be mix up multiplication and addition and all so you should be careful about doing this but you can easily score marks on this because it will be a very direct question so first question 36 divided by 42 of 6 into 7 plus 24 into 6 divided by 18 plus 3 divided by bracket 2 minus 6 minus 4 plus 3 into 2 also inside a bracket divided by it and the whole divided by 21 divided by 3 of 7. <clears throat> so here first we need to solve the one inside the bracket. So 36 divided by 42 of 6 into 7 plus 24 into 6 divided by 18 plus 3 divided by 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Next, we have another bracket. Here, first we need to solve the multiplication. That is 3 into 2 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. Divide by 8. Whole divided by 21 divided by 3 of 7. Next, we need to solve the of operations. So, 36 divided by 42 of 6 means 46 into, sorry, 42 into 6, 6 into 2, 12, 25, 252 into 7 plus 24 into 6 divided by 18 plus 3 divided by minus 4 minus 10 divided by 8 whole divided by 21 divided by 3 of 7 is 21. So, 21 divided by 21 is 1. So, the denominator is 1. Next, we can um, do the division part. 36 divided by 252. 36 by 252 into 7 plus 24 into 6 divided by 18 plus 3 divided by minus 4 minus 10 divided by 8 and 21 divided by 21 is 1 so the denominator is 1. Next we can cancel this 7 into 36 36 and 36 so here it is 1 plus 6 into 3 which is 8 so 1 plus 8 plus 3 divided by minus 4 is minus 3 by 4 minus 10 by 8 is 5 by 4. So minus 3 by 4 and minus 5 by 4 you can actually add that also 1 plus 8 minus 3 by 4 plus minus 5 by 4 you can if, if the sign of two numbers is minus we can just add it and put the minus symbol. So 1 plus 8 is 9 and minus 3 by 4 plus minus 5 by 4 is minus 8 by 4 that is um, 9 minus 2 equal to 7 is the answer so if 
you are not following the rule and mixing up the order you will not get the answer 7 you will get different numbers uh, if you do it in way, different orders so in order to get the correct answer you should follow the rule that is you should um, follow the order of the simplification next question is this is also a previous question 4 3 by 4 minus 3 1 by 3 divide by 3 by 4 minus 3 by 5 plus 3 by 5 into 5 by 7 into 7 by 9 so here also we should solve the brackets first so 4 3 by 4 we can convert it into improper fraction how we will convert it 4 into 4 is 60 plus 3 19 so 19 by 4 is the improper fraction first you will multiply the whole number and the denominator 4 into 4 16 plus you add the numerator so 90 divided by denominator remains the same similarly here 3 into 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 so 10 by 3 so that the my operations becomes easier when you convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction divided by 3 by 4 minus 3 by 5 plus 3 by 5 into 5 by 7 into 7 by 9 so we will need to um, solve the brackets first so here you when you need to subtract the fractions you will need to find the lcm so for 4 and 3 the lcm is 12 3 um, 4 into 3 is 12 so 19 into 3 is 57 minus 3 into 4 is 12 so 10 into 4 is 40 divided by here also you will need to find the lcm so lcm of 4 and 5 is 20 so um, 4 into 5 is 20 so 3 into 5 is 50 5 into 4 is 20 so 3 into 4 is 12 plus this one actually you can solve it easily um, 5 and 5 is cancelled 7 and 7 is cancelled 3 and 9 is so here the answer is 1 by 3 now 57 minus 40 is 17 by 12 divided by 15 minus 12 3 3 by 20 plus 1 by 3 so here again we have a division and an addition for first we will need to solve the division so 17 by 12 into 20 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so here we can so let us 6 this is 10 oh sorry 3 and 5 17 into 5 is 85 divided by 9 plus 1 by 3 so again you will need to solve this using by finding the lcm so the lcm will be 9 85 plus 3 that is 88 by 9 so sometimes we will need to convert this into mixed fraction so 9 into 9 81 and the balance will be 7 so 9 7 by 9 is the answer next question is 200 divided by 5.23 plus 4.77 into 3 by 5 minus 2 by 10 plus 5 minus 2 so here also we have brackets so 200 divided by so for decimals um, we can add the decimals 7 plus 3 is 10 0 1 balance 7 plus 2 is 9 0 1 balance 5 plus 4 9 plus 1 10 so 10 is the answer into here you will need to find the lcm here lcm is 10 5 into 2 is 10 so 3 into 2 is 6 minus 2 plus 5 minus 2 is 3 now 200 divided by 10 into 4 sorry 4 by 10 plus 3 so here you should not cancel this 10 and 10 because you need to do the division first then only multiplication so 200 divided by 10 is 20 20 into 4 by 10 plus 3 
here you can cancel now this 2 into 4 8 plus 3 equal to 11 is the answer so we may have a tendency to cancel this 10 and 10 but you should not do that you should follow the order first division then multiplication next question Actually, the question is very big, but the numbers, it's actually a very simple one. You only need to add, multiply, divide and all. But you should be careful while dealing with this. Should not mix with uh, mix uh, plus and uh, multiplication. And also, you should not, uh, should be careful while copying this uh, question into your uh, worksheet. Do not miss any numbers or do not miss any operations. So first you have uh, different types of brackets here. This is a square bracket. This is a small bracket. This is a curly bracket. So if you have uh, so many numbers like uh, so many brackets like a plus b in one bracket then in another curly bracket then another square bracket. So we should always follow an order while solving if you have multiple brackets for the same one first you need to solve the small bracket then the curly bracket then the square bracket that is the order first small bracket then curly bracket then square bracket so here you have small brackets first to solve here this is the first small bracket 1 plus 4 minus 42 divided by 14 plus 65 so here you can do you have only plus and minus operations here first you can do the addition that is 1 plus 4 is 5 minus 42 by 14 plus 65 mm, that is actually you can simplify this 14 into 3 is 42 so 5 minus 3 plus 65 so this is uh, 5 plus minus 3 plus 65 so 70 minus 3 67 is the answer for this first small bracket then we have another bracket here there is 2 plus 7 into 9 you have multiplication and then addition so first you solve the multiplication 9 into 7 is 63 plus 2 divided by 30 that is 63 plus 2 is 65 by 30 and that is 5 so first bracket it is 67 next bracket we solved it and got 5 next bracket is 65 plus 7 minus 90 so first addition that is 65 plus 7 is 72 72 minus 90 72 minus 10 62 minus 9 53 next bracket is 19 minus 39 into 5 so first you will multiply 39 into 5 that is um, 195 one, uh, 19 minus 195 is minus 176 so first bracket the answer is 67 67 plus plus this bracket answer is 5 into this bracket answer is 53 and the last one is minus 176 plus minus 176 and whole divided by 369 so first you need to do the multiplication 67 plus 5 into 53 is uh, 265 minus 176 divided by 369 which is equal to 67 plus 89 divided by 369 equals 156 divided by 369 this is the answer next question this is also a previous question 4 plus 2 minus 16 divided by 4 plus 3 
plus we have a curly bracket and a small bracket here so first you will solve the small bracket and then the one inside the curly bracket 1 plus 8 into 7 then divide by 90 so here also you have two small brackets inside a square bracket so first we will solve all the small brackets so here also you have a small bracket 4 plus 2 you will do the division first 4 plus 2 minus um, 16 divided by 4 is 4 plus 3 here 8 into 7 56 56 plus 1 57 57 divided by 90 into 3 plus 5 8 8 minus 4 4 plus 17 minus 9 into 4 9 4 are 36 17 minus 36 minus 90 here 4 plus 2 6 6 minus 4 plus 3 it is 5 so 5 plus 57 by 90 into 4 minus 19 is minus 15 so we will do the multiplication first but he, this one you can simplify as 90 into 3 is 57 so 5 plus 3 minus 15 Sorry, it's an into, into minus 15. Sorry, 5 plus 3 into minus 15. So, we will do the multiplication first. 3 into minus 15 is minus 45. 5 minus 45. So, the answer is minus 40. So, this was also a previous question. So, I think you, now you can solve the simplification questions easily if you follow the V both mass order and also be careful about the operations do not mix it or miss any of the numbers so as a practice I am giving you this question 25 divided by 10 minus curly bracket 7 by 4 into 1 by 3 into 6 by 5 plus 14 into 3 sorry 14 by 3 into 9 by 10 minus curly bracket 1 by 5 divided by 1 by 25 so try to solve these questions and uh, comment your answers okay try to solve this on your own and comment your answers so that um, you get more practice so um, i hope you enjoyed this class please comment your reviews and please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you